हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज केंद्र विद्यालय संगठन जीत भुवनेश्वर इनिशिएटिव वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग डिजिटल वीडियोस फॉर चैप्टर्स इन क्लास इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ द क्लास हैज बीन डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री यूनिट्स एंड टुडे विल बी डीलिंग विद द सेकंड लर्निंग यूनिट टुडे टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन इज मोर्फोलॉजी एंड एनाटोमी ऑफ कॉक्रोच there are three learning units in this chapter as we have already described in the first unit animal tissues epithelial connective muscular and nervous tissues this part we'll talk about morphology and anatomy of cockroach and in the last part we conclude with the anatomy of cockroach so in the ladder of concepts we are at the second rung what is expected out of you before we take on this lesson you should be aware with the definition of tissue basic understanding of digestion in animals and even basic features of the member of phylum arthropoda all this concept have been learned in class 9th learning outcomes after completion of this lecture you'll be able to explain the morphological structure of cockroach differentiate between male and female cockroach on the basis of morphology draw diagrams of digestive system of cockroach and explain the circulatory system in cockroach so this small animal that is found everywhere i think it is a cosmopolitan in nature and we encounter one day or another it is a menace in one part it grows and breeds like anything hence we need to go for pest control let us see the classification of this tiny organism phylum is arthropoda jointed legs class is insecta it has got six legs genus is periplanata and species is americana as far as morphology of cockroach is concerned you can see that its body is divided into three parts head thorax and abdomen it is generally brown or black bodied animal and the size ranges from 0.6 cm to 7.6 cm it is nocturnal you will discover if you enter into a kitchen or in a room in the night and switch on the light you will find cockroach hovering all around they are omnivorous they thrive and eat both veg and non vegetarian diets they live in damp places and you can find they have got long antenna flat extension of upper body that conceals the head cockroach is a serious pest and vector of several diseases a typical cockroach the adult has got around 3.5 to 5.5 cm long and the being extend beyond the tip of abdomen in males males are a bit larger than the females as far as body is concerned the body of cockroach is segmented and each segment is covered by chitinous exoskeleton segmentally exoskeletons have got hardened plates called as sclerite these sclerite are joined by thin arthroidal membrane sclerite on the dorsal side is called as tergite and on the ventral side it is called as sternite okay. so you can see here out this is the basic gross structure of a cockroach and uh, the first part is the head because the body is divided into head thorax and abdomen so head is actually a unique organ it is triangular in shape and it lies at right angle to the body axis actually it is formed by fusion of six segments and uh, some more plates are associated this shows great mobility in all direction and hence it adds to the success of cockroach a typical head capsule contains a pair of thread like antenna which is sensory in nature and uh, that helps it to perceive the surrounding and a pair of compound eyes you'll find at the ventral end it has got mouth part 
and the mouth part is mainly made up of upper lip which is called as labrum you can see here the lower lip or labium and there are two maxilla on the side of the labrum and uh, there are mandibles also lying so two mandibles two maxilla upper lip and lower lip additionally it has got a hypopharynx which acts like a tongue and this constitute a typical mouth part which is called as biting and chewing type insect has got varied mouth part if you remember mosquito has got piercing and sucking type butterfly has got siphoning type housefly has got sponging type so accordingly the mouth part in cockroaches biting and chewing type an important question generally asked in examination in one marks now we come to the thorax the thorax is divided into three major parts the prothorax mesothorax and metathorax and in all these three, three thoracic segment one pair of leg exist one pair of jointed leg we have already classified this belongs to arthropoda so it will have jointed leg the second part of thorax mesothorax and metathorax has got one pair of additional wings in the mesothorax the first pair of wing arises which is called as tegmina it is opaque dark and leathery it does it not used to fly but it covers the hind wing when at rest in the metathorax the hind wing arises which is transparent and membranous and are used for flight hence we see it has got two pairs of wing and three pairs of leg all located in thoracic segments now we come to the third part abdomen both male and female has got 10 abdominal segments but if you have a close look female's abdomen is broader apart in female you can see that the seventh sternum is boat shaped the seventh eighth and ninth sterna forms genital pouch or brood pouch and interior part of the genital pouch contains gonophores spermothecal pore and collateral gland all actively involved in reproduction in males the genital pouch lies in the hind part of the abdomen genital pouch is bound dorsally by ninth and tenth sterga and ventrally by ninth sternum genital pouch contains dorsal anus ventral male genital pore and gonopophysis you will find that in male we have got male and female there is a protuberance called as anal sarki which is sensory in nature but male has got a specific specific structure called as anal style which is absent in female female does not have style so 10th segment contains a pair of filamentous anal sarki in both male and female but in male they have got anal style so this is how you can differentiate between male and female cockroach one is the size second is the presence of boat shaped sternum in females and the third presence of anal style in males a clear depiction shows see female cockroach lacks the anal style whereas male cockroach has got anal style in addition to anal sarki so this is one important difference that you must note so from now onwards if you get a cockroach you can look for it whether it's a male and female without asking what it is that is the morphological difference between male and female now we look at the anatomy of cockroach though the organism looks very very simple when it's walking or running or flying but its anatomy is very complex if you cut it open you will encounter the digestive system the digestive system is mainly made up of elementary canal and elementary canal is divided into three major parts foregut midgut and hindgut foregut is actually lined by cuticle let us see from here the mouth mouth opens into tubular pharynx pharynx is a tubular structure which leads to esophagus and esophagus in turn leads to narrow sac like crop this crop is used to store the food and crop further leads to a muscular organ called as gizzard and gizzard will have chitinous plate there are around 
six chitinous plate that used to crush the food. At the junction of fore gut and mid gut, you will find there are some filamentous structure or tubules which is called as hepatic or gastric ceca, and these ceca are responsible for secreting digestive juices, just like how liver helps and gastric uh, gland helps in case of human. As you move down the mid gut, it's a small narrow coil structure. Then at the junction of mid gut and hind gut, the hind gut is a bit broader. There lies some more tubules, yellow tubules, which are called as Malpighian tubules, and these Malpighian tubules are responsible for excretion. The hind gut is broader than the mid gut and consists of three parts: ileum, colon, and rectum. And rectum in turn opens into exterior through a small uh, structure called as anus. So it has got a complete digestive system. If you look at the next system or circulatory system, you'll find cockroach has got open type of circulatory system. That is, there is no vessels. There is nothing called vein or article. So poorly developed blood vessels which opens into hemocell. The organ is located in the hemocell is bathed by hemolymph. So what is hemolymph? Hemolymph contains of colorless plasma and hemocytes. And uh, in the mid dorsal line, you will find there is elongated structure, muscular tube. Mid dorsal line that is called as heart, right? And it is differentiated into funnel seven chambers, which are have got opening on the lateral side called as ostia. From this hemoglobinic chamber, the fluid enters into the heart through ostia. And a cockroach heart has got as many as thirteen chamber. Blood flows from sinus to the ostia to the heart and back to the sinuses. So this is how it looks. If you can see the diagram, it will make it more clear. Alveolar muscle holding the heart in the mid dorsal line, and this is how the circulation direction takes place: the periosteal sinus or hemocell. Blood flowing into the heart through ostia and moving anteriorly. So this is the blood vascular system. Now let us recapitulate what we have learned today. Cockroach is commonly named as Periplaneta americana. It is terrestrial, nocturnal, omnivorous, unisexual. That is sexual dimorphism is there. Oviparous insect body is covered by chitinous hard exoskeleton of hard plate called as sclerite. Body has three segments: major segment, head, thorax, and abdomen. Head is made up of six segments fused. Thorax has got three parts: prothorax, mesothorax, and metathorax. And abdomen has got ten segments, both in male and female. As far as anatomical structure is concerned, it has got a digestive system made up of alimentary canal, which is divided into fore gut, mid gut, and hind gut. The mouth leads to pharynx. Pharynx leads to esophagus, which leads to crop where food is stored. Then we have got gizzard. The grinding of food takes place here. At the junction of fore gut and mid gut, we have got hepatic ceca, which secretes digestive juice, and at the junction of uh, Mid gut and hind gut, we have got Malpighian body. Hind gut consists of ileum, colon, and rectum, and uh, ultimately rectum opens to through anus. The circulatory system or blood vascular system it is open type, and the visceral organs are bathed in hemolymph, which contains colorless plasma and hemocytes. So this is what we have learned in morphology and anatomy. of cockroach will continue with more part like respiratory system excretory system nervous system and uh, reproductive system in the next video now let us look at uh, certain questions that has been designed to check your assessment how far you have read the mouth part in cockroach is of siphoning type biting and chewing type lapping type piercing and sucking type The hardened plate on dorsal side of cockroach is called as tergite, hemite, sternite, sclerite. 
which of the following part acts through the as tongue on in cockroach mandible maxilla hypopharynx and labium next question anal styles are present in male cockroach female cockroach both of them none of them and the last question the function of crop in cockroach is to store the food churn the food release digestive juices and all the above so these were the questions that will ensure your learning and if you have written down the options it's time for us to check the answers yes the mouth part in cockroach is biting and chewing type the plate is the called tergite hypopharynx is just like tongue styles are present in male and crop stores the food if you have done all the question correct wonderful if you are missing something go back listen to the video lecture and attempt the question again there are certain questions has home assignment write these questions neatly in your notebook and give it to your mentor for correction there are some further reading linked sites are given so you can view the animation of cockroach morphology and anatomy so in this part we have read about morphology and anatomy of cockroach and in the coming part we'll be reading about anatomy of cockroach and remaining parts what are available what are remaining that we will read we'll talk about the respiratory system the excretory system the nervous system and the reproductive system so keep tuned this video lecture is brought to you by mr rajiv ranjan singh pgt biology kendra vidyalaya air force station kumbhagram silchar region the task force This is a Zit Bhubaneswar presentation.